April 6, 2008, U.S. Army Sergeant Matthew Williams was serving as a weapons sergeant within a special operations task force. On the morning of the 6th, Sergeant Williams was part of an assault element inserted by helicopter into a classified location in Afghanistan. As the assault element was moving up a mountain towards its objective, it was engaged by intense enemy machine gun, sniper, and rocket propelled grenade fire. The lead portion of the assault element, which included the ground commander, sustained several casualties and became pinned down on the mountainside. Sergeant Williams, upon hearing that the lead element had sustained casualties and was in danger of being overrun, braved intense enemy fire to lead a counterattack across a valley of ice-covered boulders and a fast-moving, ice-cold, waist-deep river. Under heavy machine gun fire, Sergeant Williams and his local National Commandos fought up the mountainside to the besieged element. Arriving at the lead element's position, Sergeant Williams arrayed his Afghan commandos to provide suppressive fire, which kept the insurgent fighters from overrunning the position. When the team sergeant was wounded, Sergeant Williams braved enemy fire once again to provide buddy aid and to move the team sergeant down the mountainside to the casualty collection point. Sergeant Williams then fought and climbed his way back up the mountainside to help defend the lead assault element that still had several serious casualties in need of evacuation. Sergeant Williams directed suppressive fire and exposed himself to enemy fire in order to reestablish the team's critical satellite radio communications. He then assisted with moving the wounded down the near vertical mountainside to the casualty collection point. Noting that the collection point itself was about to be overrun by enemy fighters, Sergeant Williams led the Afghan commandos in a counterattack that lasted for several hours. When helicopters arrived to evacuate the wounded, Sergeant Williams again exposed himself to enemy fire, carrying and loading casualties onto the helicopters while continuing to direct commando firepower to suppress numerous insurgent positions. His actions enabled the patrol to evacuate wounded and dead comrades without further casualties. Sergeant Williams's complete disregard for his own safety and his concern for the safety of his teammates ensured the survival of four critically wounded soldiers and prevented the lead element of the assault force from being overrun by the enemy. Sergeant Williams received the Medal of Honor for his incredible and heroic actions that day. Sergeant Matthew Williams, it has been an honor sharing your story here today. Thank you so much for your service. I hope you guys enjoyed that first story. We've got a couple more to go through today. Today's video is going to be focusing on Medal of Honor recipients. Specifically, we have at least two more Medal of Honor recipient stories to go over in this video that are just absolutely breathtaking. So thank you guys so much for checking the video out. I hope you enjoy it and make sure you stick around to the end. Early in the morning on October 3rd, 2009, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Clinton Romasha was woken up by enemy machine gun and RPG fire. His combat outpost was under attack by an estimated 300 enemy fighters, who were occupying the high ground on all four sides of the complex. The enemy was hammering the outpost with RPGs, anti-aircraft machine guns, mortars, and small arms fire. Staff Sergeant Romasha moved under intense enemy fire to conduct a reconnaissance of the battlefield and seek reinforcements from the barracks before returning to action with the support of an assistant gunner. Staff Sergeant Romasha quickly managed to take out an enemy machine gun team, and while he was engaging a second machine gun team, the generator he was using for cover was struck by an RPG inflicting him with shrapnel wounds. Undeterred by his injuries, Staff Sergeant Romasha continued to fight, and upon the arrival of another soldier to aid him and the assistant gunner, he again rushed through the exposed avenue to assemble additional soldiers. Staff Sergeant Romasha then mobilized a five-man team and returned to the fight equipped with a sniper rifle. With complete disregard for his own safety, Staff Sergeant Romasha continually exposed himself to heavy enemy fire as he moved confidently about the battlefield, engaging and destroying multiple enemy targets, including three Taliban fighters who had breached the combat outpost's perimeter. 
while orchestrating a successful plan to secure and reinforce key points of the battlefield. Staff Sergeant Romasha maintained radio communication with the Tactical Operations Center. As the enemy forces attacked with even greater ferocity, unleashing a barrage of rocket-propelled grenades and rifle rounds. Staff Sergeant Romasha identified the point of attack and redirected air support to destroy over 30 enemy fighters. After receiving reports that seriously injured soldiers were at a distant battle position, Staff Sergeant Romasha and his team provided covering fire to allow the injured soldiers to safely reach the aid station. Upon receipt of orders to proceed to the next objective, his team pushed forward 100 meters under overwhelming enemy fire to recover and prevent the enemy fighters from taking the bodies of their fallen comrades. Staff Sergeant Romasha's heroic actions throughout the day-long battle were critical and suppressing an enemy that had far greater numbers. His extraordinary efforts gave Bravo Troop the opportunity to regroup, reorganize, and prepare for the counterattack that allowed the troop to account for its personnel and re-secure the combat outpost. Staff Sergeant Romasha received the Medal of Honor for his incredible actions that day. Staff Sergeant Romasha, it has been an honor to share your story here today. Thank you so much for your service. And I think this is really, really cool, but Staff Sergeant Romasha wasn't the only one to receive the Medal of Honor from that battle. Staff Sergeant Ty Carter was also there at the same combat outpost on the morning of October 3rd, 2009. And same as Romasha, he was abruptly woken up by RPG and heavy machine gun fire by an estimated 300 enemy fighters. Staff Sergeant Carter reinforced a forward battle position, ran twice through a 100 meter gauntlet of enemy fire to resupply ammunition, and voluntarily remained there to defend the isolated position. Armed with only an M4, Staff Sergeant Carter placed accurate, deadly fire on the enemy, beating back the assault force and preventing the position from being overrun over the course of several hours. With complete disregard for his own safety, and in spite of his own serious wounds, he ran through a hell of enemy RPG and machine gun fire to rescue a critically wounded comrade who had been pinned down in an exposed position. Staff Sergeant Carter rendered life-extending first aid and carried the soldier to cover. On his own initiative, Staff Sergeant Carter again maneuvered through enemy fire to check on a fallen soldier and recovered the squad's radio, which allowed them to coordinate their evacuation with fellow soldiers. With teammates providing covering fire, Staff Sergeant Carter assisted in moving the wounded soldier 100 meters through heavy enemy machine gun fire to the aid station. And after successfully getting the wounded soldier to the aid station, he ran back to the fight. Staff Sergeant Carter's heroic actions and tactical skills were critical to the defense of the combat outpost, preventing the enemy from capturing the position and saving the lives of his fellow soldiers. Staff Sergeant Carter received the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions that day. Staff Sergeant Carter, it has been an honor to share your story here in this video. Thank you so much for your service. And guys, I think the fact that there were two people that received the Medal of Honor in this one battle just goes to show you how insane this whole thing must have been. That outpost was under assault by 300 enemy soldiers with mortars, machine guns, RPGs, everything. And the battle lasted a whole day. Absolutely crazy. But I've got one last story for you guys. July 13th, 2008, in the Kunar province of Afghanistan, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts was providing perimeter security at Observation Post Topside at Wanit Vehicle Patrol Base, when a well-organized anti-Afghan force consisting of over 200 enemy fighters initiated a close proximity, sustained and complex assault using accurate and intense rocket-propelled grenade, machine gun, and small arms fire on the patrol base. An immediate wave of RPG rounds engulfed the observation post, wounding Sergeant Pitts and inflicting heavy casualties. 
Sergeant Pitts had been knocked to the ground and was bleeding heavily from shrapnel wounds to his arm and legs. But with incredible toughness and resolve, he took control of the observation post and returned fire on the enemy. As the enemy drew nearer, Sergeant Pitts threw grenades, holding them after the pin was pulled and the safety lever was released to allow a nearly immediate detonation on the hostile forces. Unable to stand on his own and near death because of the severity of his wounds and blood loss, Sergeant Pitts continued to lay suppressive fire until a two-man reinforcement team arrived. Sergeant Pitts quickly assisted them by giving up his main weapon and gathering ammunition, all while continually lobbing frag grenades until he was completely out. At this point, Sergeant Pitts crawled to the northern position radio and described the situation to the command post as the enemy continued to try and isolate the observation post from the main patrol base. With the enemy now close enough for him to hear their voices, and with total disregard for his own life, Sergeant Pitts whispered in radio situation reports and conveyed information that the command post used to provide direct fire support. Sergeant Pitts's courage, steadfast commitment to the defense of his unit, and ability to fight while seriously wounded prevented the enemy from overrunning the observation post and capturing fallen American soldiers, and ultimately prevented the enemy from gaining fortified positions on higher ground from which to attack Wanit Vehicle Patrol Base. Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts received the Medal of Honor for his unbelievable actions on that day. Staff Sergeant Pitts, it is a genuine honor to share your story in this video. Thank you so much for your service and for your sacrifice. And there you have it guys, multiple Medal of Honor recipient stories all jam packed into one video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. But if you guys didn't enjoy the video for any reason at all, please, feel free to let me know down in the comment section what I can do to improve my future videos and hit that dislike button. It doesn't bother me in the slightest bit. Any and all feedback is greatly appreciated here. But with that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.